Hey, welcome everyone. I'm me, Kako, and welcome back to Bug Fables and the Everlasting Sapling. Ah, oh, so some news. I uploaded the last two episodes. I am now recording this uh, a few days later. Uh, let me know if you are watching this like after the last episodes how the editing feels because I'm struggling quite a lot I ignore the frame drops I'm struggling quite a lot to edit the, the content because it, it's very tricky I'm not good at editing regular stuff I'm uh, good at editing white noise I'm not good at editing important stuff out uh, I've been editing like redundant combat like if I fight something that you've already watched there's no need to show it again so I just you know don't show it like this okay but yeah like these encounters you probably noticed I cut them a lot let me know actually if you watch to watch me fight every single enemy because I feel like it's kinda poison defender hmm sure Oh. oh, but this is actually for everyone. That's what I figured. Okay. No, it is on Vi. Okay, that's annoying. But who is the most vulnerable? Probably Vi, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's annoying. I don't think... That's how it worked in Paper Mario. What's this? When I lost la yeah. I don't think that's how it worked in Paper Mario. In Paper Mario everything was global. That's something that I don't quite like. I've been watching like regular content and I see people doing hard gods all the time. And I don't know how they do it because when I try to do hard gods it always feels so disorienting. And it's so weird. Ugh. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. I think I can kill everyone in a single turn if I play my cards right. Kill 3 damage there, I deal 2 damage to you. And then in theory I do a super to you. And I kill you. That was clean! Uh, yeah, so because I have this issue that I like to show everything uh, Not necessarily like show everything in the sense of oh, oh, what the fuck? I got ambushed Actually should he be in front? No, well, I mean He's useful for this, but what's this? Uh, sure, I don't need that many. Plant-like and fungi-based creatures are weak to cold temperatures, and different creatures have different weaknesses and resistances, which could change the outcome of the battle. It's one of those stupid annoying seedlings. They are all over the outskirts, but don't even drop the good items. Let's just beat them up already. Okay. What a cute, what a cute creature. It's almost a shame that we must fight it. Our basic ice magic cannot reach it while it's flying. This vile have to bring it down. Hmm, perhaps we could ask, we could keep on as a pet? I would have lots of fun taking care of it. As I was saying earlier, I have this habit of wanting to show everything to the viewer. I seen not everything that I do, but everything in the game. So like, if I have to backtrack, I will cut, um, stuff out but if I have to oh. but if I have to explore something for the first time nah I will not oh I didn't counter oh well
Uh, what's this? Oh, if I have to, you know, explore for the first time, it's very likely that I won't cut down anything because I like showing stuff, which is an issue for the most part. Oh, no, I saw you. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's a big ass fucking switch. Is everyone alright? Is we cause a tremor? I guess it was a pretty big switch. We must have made progress by un in unlocking the door. Let's keep going. Oh, where is this? Mushroom? Oh, I. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, I see. There's a silver berry. Okay. Other channels will just stream out everything that is completely irrelevant, even if it's interesting to see the environment. I personally don't, which I don't know, maybe tell me if it's a something I should do. Fair enough. Yeah, because I've been thinking that I sh should definitely. Oh. Okay, let's use this guy's ability. Press A when the cursor is on the right spot. Oh, okay. That didn't even give me. Okay, whatever. Oh, and it also deals extra damage when they are close and make sense. We overestimated the high that I can jump. By a lot. Frozen enemies cannot act and they take increased damage when hitting battle, however hitting an enemy while it's frozen will throw it out immediately. I figured as much. Okay. Oh shit, this is actually a lot. Oh, these are a lot of enemies. How do I approach this? I think I need to take out. This guy immediately. And I can take out one of these. Yeah. Shit, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, that was my, our first three, uh, enemy encounter. Kinda wild. Another tip. By blocking with precise timing, it is possible to reduce the uh, I know. Okay, what is this? Oh, they are moving. Okay. I might mess around depending because 
this series is not getting up tight and freezing time. This series isn't getting nearly as much support as I hoped, but then again, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, it, it only has like two episodes, so it's very hard to judge um, just yet, you know? So it's like whatever. I really hope the series picks up, but in the meantime, I might mess around since it's mostly experimental to trim out exploration, just as I'm trimming out combat. I, I don't know how it will be received. I don't have people to tell me whether they enjoy seeing combat being trimmed out or seeing uh, exploration being trimmed out and whatnot. Oh, I guess it just works. I don't know why it was complicating it. But that just works. Okay. Do you think that's gonna be... Uh... Alright, that's two switches. Pretty sure the door should be open now. Good, and let's make our way back the door. Uh, yeah, do you think there's a boss behind the door? I guess we'll find out. Ideally, I should, like, stop the episode now because it either... You know, I stop it now or it lasts another 15 minutes. <laughs> and that's not ideal, but let's risk it for the biscuit. Maybe we'll be the giant enemy spider this episode. Is that even the boss of this dungeon? Oh. Okay. I tried. I got it. Okay, I'm gonna weaken this one. And then I'm gonna kill the one in, in the front. If I don't mess it up. I avoid- that deals 2 damage! <laughs> okay, I fucked up big time. At least I'm goaded with the sauce. Okay, well my plan got fucked big, big fucking time. Yeah, I was- I thought Cabo dealt 3 damage, but no, he's a worthless piece of crap. I mean- all of them deal 2 damage. What, what, what was I thinking? All enemy, all party members deal... Oh. All of them deal 2 damage, not 3. Hmm. It looks way too open, but... A giant cobweb on top. Another 3 encounter. This should deal 4 damage. Okay, I'm getting a lot of perfect blocks. That's kinda awesome. A mushroom? I don't care. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Another save point. Oh, early. Okay. Uh, is this a boss? It's an artifact. Could this be an artifact? Some sort of mask? It doesn't really seem special or valuable. Shushka, Mirf, Itrik. Live? Are you alright? Yes, the mask has very potent magic. We reacted strongly to it. That settles it then. This is probably the real artifact. Nibs, life shouldn't touch it anyways. The queen has claimed it already, why? The queen? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You have found the art, the Asian mask. That doesn't seem good.
Curses! It's a trap! We need to leave! And quickly. I'm not gonna do that. Yo! Seriously? The spider? This is the worst possible timing. I disagree. It's the perfect time for payback. If it won't let us escape, we might as well defeat it. But last time we had to run! We are stronger now, Vi, and life is with us. Some battles we cannot run from. Uh, Alright, let's take it out before the room floods. Alrighty. Oh, it has double attacks. Do I... Start with a... Sure, tornado... To do I... I don't need it. I should swap the... No, I should put this guy in front. Oh, life doesn't deal extra damage. Okay. Well. Oh, I block. Okay. Okay, yeah, I understand. Maybe I should have buy in front. I understand now why they have two turns, so they can go on top and then... Sorry for my cat. So they can go on top and then they can, you know... Well, they are no match for me. I'm absolutely destroying them. Never mind. Okay, they didn't account for me being cracked at mashing. Okay. I should... Ah, that doesn't really matter. Uh, no, yeah, it does because I could deal damage to them. Diva for me. Okay, and then we kill this guy. There we go. Okay, just to make sure, no one learned anything new, right? No. I almost missed that. They fired two times? That's cheating? You know what, if you're gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat as well. Okay, you didn't get... nah, okay. I should definitely put Cabo in front. Never mind, instead. Well, that was easy. We... I did it. For real this time. <laughs> uh, we really did it. What a scare. But working together, we were victorious. We did it. Thank you. We don't know what... Uh, we don't know much of what's happened to us. But beating up that spider was a great stress relief. No problem. I was gonna beat it up anyways. And we got the treasure too. Curses! We forgot about the flood! We should probably leave while we can. Ah, uh, heck! Ah! The Adventurous Duo, Vi and Cabo, dove into Snake Mountain for their team's first exploration mission, a place known for having consumed any previous explorer that dared to enter. Even so, the team stuck together and were surprised with a new frame, life. Together they found one of the fabled artifacts that the Ant Queen has been looking for, 
We're gonna trap the defeated the vile spider before being swept away. What will happen to this trio who met due to their chance? Will they stick together in their journey? Little do they know that their adventure is yours starting. End of chapter 1. Well, before we start, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, don't forget to do the usual. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow for more. And I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye bye!